And there it is. That is maybe my disc brake rear end. We will see. But for right now, I'm going to go get my truck, get it over here, see if I can get this thing put in the bed of the truck without rupturing something. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, not light. Anyway, um, man, I wish these axles were, were the same as the ones in mine so I could just take the ends off. Because <clears throat> this is a 373 from what I can tell. So I can't use it as is. I got to put my gears in it. And it's probably a good thing anyway because. Look at this. That bearing's junk. So who knows what the gear is going to look like. They don't sound bad. Yeah, they feel all right. The gears feel okay, but that pinion bearing is garbage. Uh, the fun part's going to be, from what I can tell, even though this is a nine and three quarter axle and it's in the same generation of truck, um, between '97 and '03, at some point they went to larger carrier bearings inside here, both for the center section and for the pinion. They take the same gear set and the same lockers, so the ID of the bearings is the same, but the OD in the case, from what I can tell, is what's been changed. So I'm not going to be able to, from what I can tell, use my bearings, although I may be able to use this carrier um, because the posi, I, when we check it, we'll see how good it looks. I mean, mine lasted almost 290, you know, 260,000 miles. This one's only got 150 on it. Uh, and you know, it'll just be, see how glazed everything looks if, from what we can see. But, uh, so, we're going to take this over there and clean it up a little bit and then pop the back cap off and see what we got. So now we're going to pop the back cover off. These appear to be half inch. A little more easy, a little more the speed of this electric thing. smell oil but it ain't good yeah, never mind getting those threads straight if there's oil in it? I bet it's probably not. My bet it and my bet wins. <laughs> yeah. It's gross. And the pan is rusty on the inside, so that's how, that's how long that's been without any significant amount of lubrication. I mean, there's a little oil in there down by the pinion, but not much. Center section, the carrier, it doesn't look too bad at first glance. And if the gear was not gross, it might be all right. The big thing for me is these bearings. If they happen to be the same as the ones in my truck, then it's simple. Out, in with mine. And then just set the, set the lash and be done with it. 
and it looks I don't see any side to side shims they're probably in there somewhere it looks like that may all be done with just the pinion but uh, you see a little fretting Whew, that stuff's terrible wow that's gross yeah the best bet will be to use my center section since I just rebuilt it and uh, I know the gears are decent they aren't worn out I'm gonna use those gears anyway but I don't know the condition of this and looking at this fluid phew, she is something else but all right well there's the inside of the unit I'm gonna flip it up drain what's left of this crappy oil out of there my god is that awful and then we're gonna to try to clean it a little bit so we can take a better look it's uh not really what you want to see <laughs> Woo, that is awful that explains why the bearings are junk um they ran it without lube for a long time and that's all that's come out so far Surprised the gears aren't uh, worse because they don't look too terrible. Well, do a little bit of rinsing and cleaning, see what we got. Now, first glance, after a quick rinse, you can see some roughness on the spiders, but not terrible. But the uh, the running surface of the gears don't look too bad uh, at least at this moment Oop. okay we got some pitting down there there we go alright yeah we got some pitting but I mean, it's mainly because of water. There. We'll finish cleaning these off and then keep inspecting. All right, two cans of engine degreaser later, and this is what we got. You can see absolute severe pitting. I mean, that's bad. That is some bad stuff from uh, this thing not being lubed and. I'll say the uh, maybe it's maybe it's the way it's supposed to be, but the top of this tooth feels very sharp, even in the spots it's not pitted. It is sharp, sharp, sharp. So I don't know whether that's correct. It might be. I've never really inspected a set of gears before, but some of them don't feel that bad, but some of them feel very, very sharp. Um, and again, we're still seeing pitting in here. So my intent is going to be to reuse my entire carrier because there's no telling what these springs and pl clutch plates in here look like. And I can see gunk in there pretty good. So hopefully I can reuse my carrier. If that's the case, then all I need is a bearing and shim set. And then I can use my ring pinion carrier. We'll put a new seal up front because I still don't think that's supposed to have quite that much movement and that's what we're going to be looking at doing one of the things I need to do is kind of measure alright 65 and then plus 66 66 and 5 eighths wheel mounting surface to wheel mounting surface because if that's too far off that's going to kind of make a mess of things not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do it'll get close
Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty close. Now the only other thing is spring to spring. Or perch to perch. Stupid chunk of rubber. Which looks to be about 44 and a half ish on the inside. are the same so and this is in the back like it's supposed to be so this is functionally a suitable axle housing for that truck and so I just got to figure out how to get my gears in it and get it good and I will have disc brakes I'm starting to get excited a little bit but uh, it's going to take a little while because obviously the white truck's my daily driver until I have all the parts. I don't want to stop driving it because then it just gets expensive driving the diesel for no reason. But uh, there we go. We will talk to you all later.